my brothers and sisters, I call upon you, therefore, I, the prisoner of the master, to walk worthily of the calling with which you were called, with all humility and meekness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, being eager to guard the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace, one body and one spirit, as you also were called in one expectation of your calling, one master, one belief, one immersion, one Allahim and father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all, but to each one of us favor was given according to the measure of the gift of Messiah. That is why it says, when he went up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts to men. But what does he went up mean? Except that he also first went down into the lower parts of the earth. He who went down is also the one who went up far above all the heavens to feel all. And he himself gave some as emissaries and some as prophets and some as evangelists and some as shepherds and teachers for the perfecting of the set apart ones to the work of service to a building up of the body of the Messiah until we all come to the unity of the belief and of the knowledge of the son of Allahim, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the completeness of Messiah, so that we should no longer be children tossed and borne about by every wind of teaching, by the trickery of men and cleverness unto the craftiness of leading astray, but maintaining the truth in love, we grow up in all respects into him who is the head, Messiah, from whom the entire body, joined and knit together by what every joint supplies, according to the working by which each part does its share, causes growth of the body for the building up of itself in love. So this I say, and witness in the master, that you should no longer walk as the nations walk in the futility of their mind, having been darkened in their understanding, having been estranged from the life of Allahim because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the hardness of their heart, who, having become callous, have given themselves up to indecency, to work all uncleanness with greediness. But you have not so learned Messiah, if indeed you have heard him and were taught by him, as truth is in Yahushua, that you put off with regard to your former behavior, the old man being corrupted according to the desires of the deceit and to be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the renewed man, which was created according to Allahim in righteousness and set apartness of the truth. Therefore, having put off the false, speak truth, each one with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be wrong, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your rage, nor give place to the devil. Let him who stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good, so that he has somewhat to share with those in need. Let no corrupt word come out of your mouth, but only such as is good for the use of building up, so as to impart what is pleasant to the hearers, and do not grieve the set-apart spirit of Allahim, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and displeasure and uproar and slander be put away from you, 
along with all evil, and be kind towards one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, forgiving one another, as Allahim also forgave you in Messiah. Shalom.